toxic fear. Mm. You mm. mentioned that one of the, the things that you had to kind of eradicate from the beginning was fear of when you, when you had to travel so much. Yes. Let's talk about fear. I feel like mm. fear is something that we as Christians mm. in mm. our Jesus experience is something mm. that we have to deal with a lot. Yes. How, how do we deal with this fear situation? Okay, so the first thing, what I'm learning and what I've learned is it's not a once in a lifetime dealing with. Mm. You don't wake up and you've dealt with fear and that's it. It will always come knocking back in different situations, depending on the mm. circumstances. Mm. Um, I think for me, the roots of it is understanding the love of God okay. and understanding how much God loves you. So you get an instruction from God or you feel led to do something, but you're afraid. But if you know that the person that asked you to do the thing take is so in love with you, as in he's absolutely madly in I mean, would you ask your son to do something that would destroy him? You would never think of it. So if you ask him to do something, you know. You've already thought about all the different yes, everything he needs yes, him. Yes, you have his back 100% and you know that it's not going to destroy him. So when we, I mean, what I try and do anytime I'm afraid, like this one, I said, God, I took this position I spoke to you so you would have known that it would involve this much flying exactly. so God ah, give me peace you know help me on you know those sort of things and I think that's why it really helps to try and align okay. with God in terms of his will as much as you can yeah. because there's a confidence that comes when you when you know that what I'm doing I didn't just wake up and think it's all in accordance to God's yes will. you know so of course I have to ask Mm -hmm. Aligning yourself with God's will. Right. How does that one work? Wow. Because people are talking some deep Christian. Mm. Align yourself with God's will. Please mm -hmm. explain to me how that works. Okay, that's a one-hour conversation. <laughs> Give me a, a one-minute and, and, and I'm learning and growing okay. as well. So, okay, just but in my mind yes. and in my experience, mm. what it is is literally, you know, trying to understand His will, His work, His purposes. You know, and the backbone of it is your life is not your own once you give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called life to Christ. You're Sorry, saying, yeah. exactly, I no longer decide my destiny. Mm -hmm. You are the author of my destiny. And if you said that, well, you are doing your own thing. There's a conflict, right? And I find that life works better as a Christian when you're walking in accordance with God's will. And so that will lead us into how do you hear God? Yes. Again. 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 His voice is it deep? Is mm. it a baritone? It's masculine. Is it masculine? <laughs> <laughs> because you, you, you people talk. You know, I remember um, when I wrote a testimony. Mm. And my, somebody said to me that oh, she, when I kept saying God told me to do this, God told yeah. me to go to this hospital. God, yes. She was like, ah, what is God told me? God told mm. me. That? I'm not really sure. Was it just mm. you know your common sense? Mm -hmm. and, but there are things that God told me to do that did not mm. make sense. Mm -hmm. So she was still like, she made her very uncomfortable. Mm. And then I hear you are saying, well, you have to hear God's voice. Mm. Please, I need a bit more. Okay, so again, it goes back to how much God loves us. Okay. And because he loves us so much, he wants a relationship with us. And for me, what really set me free, because I too was at a stage where I thought, ah, what is hearing God? It's so hard. I can't hear his voice. You know, God will meet you at your own level. He started to talk to me in a way that was clear for me to know that this is God. So there are different ways. So I've, been, I've been privileged to hear an audible voice oh. once or twice oh. in my life. Oh. Right. Yes. Um, sometimes I'm reading my Bible. A lot of times, more, more commonly, I'm reading my Bible. And a scripture is emphasized in my mind. Mm. And it answers a question in my heart or in a situation I'm in. Mm. And I know that that's God. That's God's will in that wow. situation. Yes. Or he sends a friend to tell me something. And I know that I trusted friends. So I know that, okay, fine, this is God's word. Or you have an impression. You know, I, I'll just share something quickly. Okay. So I say I'm a lawyer and I'm a lawyer's lawyer. I love being a lawyer. I've been a lawyer for the past 10 years. I love it. But guess what? I did not start life as a lawyer. My first degree was in economics. Okay. Because my father did accounting and that's I wanted to be like that. Oh, that's so lovely. Midway, well, until <laughs> midway, you went exactly, until I realized that my life is not my own. So like first or second year of university is when I started to know God. And I started to really pray about, even before I started praying about it, any course I did that had anything to do with law interested me. Yeah. You know. And I'll tell my dad, and he used to tease me that, lawyer lawyer because i talk a lot yeah. apparently so i'll tell my dad i'm really into this law thing oh, yeah. so why didn't you study lawyer why you know because i wanted to, to do be like daddy anyway so 
Um, in between all that, I said, you know, one of the people I looked up to was Johnny Cochran. You know, because mm. the whole OJ Simpson thing yeah, just happened. Yeah, the fact that he actually was successful with that. Exactly. It was a big deal. And so he wrote a book. I bought his book. And he has a partner that works with him in his law firm who is a Christian. Okay. So I read his book. And then I wrote him an email. I, I, I don't even... I mean, this is me at 20 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I know, right? Amazing. I'm like, hello, I hi. Me, I my name is you. this. I just want to tell you, your book is very inspiring. A Christian lawyer. I'm not yet a lawyer, but I really want to be a lawyer. I'm studying economics at the moment. Any words of advice? So this guy replies my, my little email. I was like, what? Encourages me, sends me scriptures. Oh, wow. And says, this is an American lawyer. Says, guess what? I'm in London in two weeks. Can we meet up? What? Hello. Okay, that I mean people can say Hello. that's coincidence, but I Hello. I, when, when you Do you understand what I'm words. saying? Do you understand and that's the thing. A lot of times when when you're when God when you're talking mm -hmm. to God about something, a lot of little coincidences yes. happen that you don't realize it's not, yes. they're not just coincidences, right? You know, eventually, okay, I finished my economics degree and my dad, you know, when I said the law thing, he didn't argue too much again for me. That was law experience. Yeah, you had to argue that potential, yeah. Exactly. When I finished the second degree in law and then oh but no you have to do law school it doesn't yeah. end at the degree yeah, you have to do law when i went to meet my father he said eh no you alone you've done two degrees and in I the will uk do law school again. <laughs> just go and work for a bit then you will do law school so i said okay someone called me i said oh they're doing scholarships in college of law in london oh, wow. apply i said ah what kind of scholarships so well majority of people that apply are oxford and cambridge students but you too. You can try. Can't you can. <laughs> I said, okay, no problem. Let me try. So I sent in my application. They called me for interview. Oh, wow. I said, Father, who am I? Oh, that's <laughs> fantastic. I? Then, I, so this is it. The day before the interview, I'm reading my Bible. God, what am I going to go and say in this place? They said everybody's Oxford Cambridge, you know. I you you saw them when they rejected my Oxford Cambridge applications. You knew this day was coming. <laughs> Anyhow. So, and a scripture came to me and he said, some trust in horses and chariots where we will trust, trust in, the in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Can you imagine? Amazing. So, okay, Amazing. God, I will go. Isn't it about Oxford or Cambridge? Yes. Yeah. It was so clear. So I went there knowing that God is with me. I got there. The people outside the interview were all waiting here. They're talking to me about like, Oxford and Cambridge um, <laughs> degrees. <laughs> Their perfect English accent and what they do on the side. Oh, I, actually, I also run a production company. Wow. I also fly to Africa to you know yeah. amazing people. I said, great, that's really nice to know. I went for my interview. Amazing. Cut a long story short, I got the scholarship, full scholarship, paid for my entire law school, my entire law school in England. So. God is, God is, God is. At that point, even my father said, this is God. <laughs> can't finish your law this school. This is God, do law school. And so, yeah, wow. so that is how God leads. Oh, he will show you favor. He will speak to you through scripture. He will direct you. He will. And I have a million experiences of that nature. What amazing. That's yeah. amazing. So, do you know, it's been very interesting talking to you because when we started, I thought I was going to know where the direction was going to. Mm. But, you know, we've spoken about a variety of things, about fear, about knowing mm. the will of God, about mm -hmm. hearing the voice of God. Mm. Mm. During the times when things are not so perfect, when things mm. are shaky, when you have questions, mm -hmm. how do you, what do you do? How do you handle that? What, what Bible verse do you go to? Do you have a, a Bible verse you go to? Have you seen God just say, okay, well, this is a difficult one, and you just hear that God just, like something that you just thought is impossible, and God mm -hmm. came through. Like you've spoke, spoken about amazing testimonies. Mm -hmm. But that one thing that is unshaken for you, that when, you, when things are really tough, mm -hmm. you face it. Okay. Um, I don't think I have a go-to scripture. Mm -hmm. I have a variety of go-to scriptures. Your favorite one. So when things are... When things are looking, when I'm not sure what's going on, I like to, I think overall, I know the plans I have for you. They are yeah, good. 29 exactly. And I, I just it. know that, you know what? All things are going to work together, together for my good in whatever situation I find myself. Yes. Another pet favorite for me is, is a very short, interesting one. It's in John. It is finished. No matter it what finished. it is, because Christ yes. took it all, right? That's it. And, you know, this that one came to me one day it was one of the audible voices i've heard oh, wow. right and i wrote down a lot of things on my heart and as i dropped my pen i heard it is finished 
and God was saying to me, you think you have issues, but They're Christ has finished. died. Exactly, Christ has died. So if you can show me any issue that Christ has not, not died for, then, then, you know, you have issues. But before then, just remember that whatever it is, it is finished. And so like my really close friends call me, it is finished. Now, everything is, it is finished because at the end of the day, no matter what I'm going through, as a Christian, I remember that it is finished. It's finished. That's so, so fantastic. That's That's, I wish we had more time to talk. Oh, the time goes so quickly. I've, I've been it. so blessed. I've I been so blessed. Thank and you. The, the, the prayer that we have is mm. that somebody would watch this and know that, you know, God has your back. In the yes. little things and the big things. Yes. It yes. will take you and it will control every situation. Yes. Yes. So that's been an amazing lesson mm -hmm. to learn. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so grateful for your time. Thank you. I hope we'll have another time to have a longer conversation. I hope so too. Hopefully. But and, thank you. And again, that the Christian life is an exciting one. It is, right? It doesn't have to be boring. It's an exciting one. Look it's at like you, a movie. beautiful lady, nice clothes, <laughs> everything. You're not talking about Christ. It's like a movie. Yes. There are things I'm doing this year Last year, I didn't know. I you couldn't even do. Yes. You couldn't even imagine. I didn't think. I didn't. I didn't. You, you mentioned I'm um, having a children's book that you wrote. So there's yes. so many things that yes. we are still going to have to talk about. Yes. yes. So yes. thank yes. you so much. Thank, thank you for sh sharing thank your you. Jesus experience thank you for having with me. us. And hopefully, see you another time. Yes. Thank you. Love. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on My Jesus Experience. I have just finished talking to Damilola Adelowo. She's a lawyer, but she's also a builder. And from talking to her, I have learned that. God knows the final plans. She said how she started with an economics degree, but she ended up as a lawyer. And God gave her so many signs to confirm it. It shows me that God speaks to us. If we just listen, if we open our hearts to him, we'll actually hear his voice. And it never lies. A verse she mentioned was that God says, I know the plans I have for you. That's from Jeremiah 29, 11. The fool then says, I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. That's the ESV version. But there's so many amazing versions of that scripture you need to check out. So whatever you're going through today, I hope that we've shown you that God loves you. I hope we've shown you that God is real in our lives. It's not just for people that you think are pastors or the best in church. It's for everyone, everyday people, talking about a very real God and sharing their Jesus experience with you. Thank you for watching my Jesus experience. If you want to know more, you can visit the website www.mylighthouse.com.ng. You can go on our Facebook page, My Lighthouse. On Twitter and Instagram, we're at My Lighthouse NG. And on YouTube, we're at My Lighthouse TV. I hope you've been blessed by this. Thank you for watching my Jesus experience. I hope you know that God is real and He's real in your life. Have a great day. From Tito for My Lighthouse.